Modern Warfare 2. What's good, everyone? Those nerfs and balances came out en masse. March 15th, 2023 marked the reloaded patch for Season 2. There were so many more changes, additions, and balances than what many had expected. And of course, this gun came out of nowhere! First and foremost, the KV broadside with the Dragon's Breath attachment, aka the fire shotgun, was an obvious choice to get the hammer. That thing cleared a room full of armored players with an insane range, spread, and damage with barely any aiming. And a bunch of LMGs got hit as well, real hard. These guns were barely meta for a bunch of game modes and they decided to make them crappier? They're not available in ranked modes and I barely see them being used anywhere outside of Warzone, aside for the camel grinds. I guess Activision really don't want players using LMGs anytime soon unless you're only into Warzone. Even then, there were some better choices to run around with. An amazing addition and brand new to the Modern Warfare 2 weapons arsenal is this crazy new Tempest Torrent Marksman Rifle. When they said it's a DMR that hits hard, it hits hard. It's about a one-shot kill to the head and only a two-shot kill to the chest. The fire rate is way faster than all the other Marksman Rifles and this thing handles like an assault rifle. The iron sights are exactly the same as the M4 due to the base platform being the same. The recoil and accuracy on this gun are just silly. It fires sniper rounds faster than most semi-autos and doesn't even kick back or recoil like the Signal 50. Imagine the Signal 50 being super light for your mobility and it carries 20 plus bullets and can still fire super fast consecutively. If people can fire this thing like a fully automatic and from what I hear, people using controller mods for that turbo functionality, this gun will be in the stratosphere for the meta. I can definitely see this Tempest Torrent being nerfed very soon. So definitely get it while it's still hot. I definitely recommend this gun, and not only because I like guns with sniper rounds, this gun just sets every other class back a few steps, even though so many guns have been buffed overall. This was my first game with the Tempest Torrent, and I was able to get a high amount of kills and easily get that gunship score streak going. The DMR ruled Warzone 1 for quite some time until I got nerfed real hard. Folks, I can say that this is the replacement for that very DMR. This is the meta on the rise. This gun is way too fun and powerful to be called balanced. It was a good choice to leave marksman rifles out of rank mode because we will start to see this gun dominate other modes quite profusely. I am not sure if playing the meta and running around with the same assault type classes and build that everyone else is playing would be the most optimal for every team. Ranked mode is still receiving its fair share of balances and changes. Overall, it just needs a little more time to settle in. Being above and beyond their call of duty has always been what Activision liked to do. We get changes nobody wants, fixes in places that didn't need fixing, and breaking of something that wasn't broken before. And it seems like they're trying to stop doing that. I much appreciate the quality of life changes and addressing the SR ranking issue where we go to zero if we back out of queue before the match starts. We get the points back after completing a match, but I certainly lost my demotion protection and winning streak from this glitch. So I'm guessing a fix is like a new feature that we get sold on in this game. All in all, this update was much needed to address the overpowered broadside and a slew of other issues. It's no wonder it was a 20 plus gigabyte update, and I hope they continue to prevent people from abusing the game in multiple forms, and of course not creating new problems as we get new content. I'm not sure why they feel they have to reinvent the wheel each time a new Call of Duty comes out, because each one of us COD fans are just looking for the same level of support, play, and experience. Let's hope they stop breaking what's not broken! Thank you everyone for amazing comments on my videos as of late. I will be sure to keep them coming to keep you entertained. I am loving Call of Duty and YouTube so much, and I will try to double my uploads every month. Subscribe and come back to check them out, yeah? Peace!